What up, what up, y'all? Um, today we got a BM Creations Toyota Corolla E70. Here's the packaging. All right, let's cut this bad boy open. The cellophane felt a little old, kind of crispy. All right, let's try not to damage the packaging. All right, and this one also comes with a extra set of wheels and some body parts. I want to say it's a front bumper. All right, let me focus in for you guys. Yeah, this is a black with a beige interior. Here's the accessory bag. I see a front bumper, some wheels, nice dish to them. One with the axle. All right, let's throw it to the side real quick. Do this review on this Corolla. Good attention to detail, good chrome, plastic insert headlights, little license plate, chrome bumper, stock wheels. No moving parts on this does have the fender mirrors I like this combo the beige interior on black plastic tail lights yeah they didn't go too crazy on the interior it is a right hand drive badge on the chunk right there all right so here's how the bumper comes off this has two pins. There's two insert holes. Uh, be careful as usual. These are delicate parts. And the, um, this one seems to have a wider license plate and bigger Corolla badge. Here's a visual for you guys. Yeah, it looks, looks good already. Ooh, has a rough roll to it. Here's the undercarriage. Piping, tiny muffler at the back. Oh, so the back comes off as well too. All right, I didn't get a back bumper, but yeah. Still looks cool. All right, let's go ahead and put this away. Probably gonna mess with this later. All right, well that's the unboxing for this guy. All right, so I kind of figured this out. I'm gonna try to run you through it. There's screws right here you take off. Um, and it was not working for the front for various reasons. Um, this tab, you have to use the other one it comes with. Um, I wanna say the positioning is different on there. But they also sent me these in the wrong way as well. So this axle inserts from a one side as you can see right here these were the stock wheels and they were kind of flipped the wrong way um <clears throat> these pins right here uh, you got to be careful put a lot of pressure around it when you're trying to push it out um get something nice and sharp i just used a knife it came out pretty smooth but i was very careful careful to put a lot of pressure around that ring um, 
So I got that done, flipped the axle over and it works. There's the axle in action. Pretty cool actually. But it would have been nice if I didn't have to mess with it and figure it out. Uh, I guess quality control wasn't 100% on this one. But yeah, no, other than that, it all worked out. So here's a visual of why it didn't work. You can see that the wheel's one bigger and the pins are offset to give it a camber, I believe. Um, it was on both sides, so I don't want to say this was by accident. But anyways, this is the reason why you have to watch out what you're doing. Yours might come normal, so uh, you might not have to do this. Anyways, here's a shot of it. It actually looks real nice with the whole kit. A little camber in the back. Real flush fit. Yeah, putting it on the back wasn't too hard at all. You can kind of see the keyways and whatnot. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.